How are you doing everyone? Phil from statisticsmentor.com What I'm going to show you today is how to compute powers on your calculator. Now these six things here, I'm going to show you how to do it on a scientific calculator. So keep watching. Okay, so we switched over to my camcorder now. So what you can see here is I have a scientific calculator happens to be a Casio FX85ES but any scientific calculator will do. First one was 2 to the power 3. So what I do, and I'm looking through my view camera here, so 2, I'm going to turn the thing on first, 2 to the power. Now what you want for the power is this button here, X with a square on it to power of 3. So press 3, enter there. Okay, that's the first one. Second, 2 to the power of a third, 2. Use the power button again. This time, say you want to exact enter it like a fraction. You see this fraction here? That's the fraction button. Just press that and then you see this. And now put in the number in the numerator which is 1 and then use the arrow key to go down and put 3 so let's have a look, can you actually see this? Oh, I think that's better 2 to the power of 3rd and it looks like it as well ok, 1.25 next one, 10 to the power of 3 uh, just an easy one, but why I did it is because look, there's actually a special button for it. You don't actually u have to use it, but let's just use it. So shift and the log, which should take me to the yellow thing, which is 10 to power button. I now want power 3. There you go. Next one, we want the cube root of 8. Notice there is a cube root button there in yellow above the square root button. So how we access it is shift. And there, you see now the cube there, and all I have to do is enter the number I want. 8 equals. That's not the only way to do it, however, because there's a general root button. Um, so, next one, I'll show you how to demonstrate that now. So, I want the fourth root of 9. So, we should shift this one. Now, it gives me general because now I can select however many kind of whatever root I want. Fourth root, use the arrow key to take me down to here, 9 equals right and then that's one two to the power of two to the power of three two that's the power button to the power of two and watch this oh hang on I didn't press two press five two to the power of two and now watch this if I want the power again I press this power button can you see that looks good power of Three. Before I press enter, if you've seen my other videos, you will know that what this means is that what this will do is it'll take two to the power of three first. It does everything to the power. So two to the power of three first, and then it'll do the big one, two to the power of whatever that is. Okay, rather than doing two to the power of two and that answer to the power of three. Just watch that video again if you um, if you want to know what the difference is between what I've just said equal there so that's how you do power so we've used the button that's the main button to use to the power but so if I do a square I can just do use this one but this is a general button that's the square root but the general button for this nth root is that one up there and this is the one for fractions if we need it okay naturally there's a cube cube there as well if we want it okay so that's it well, that's been helpful